close your eyes. And it's one of the Thai Chans once said, take the one seat in your house. Think of your house having one chair, and whoever sits in the chair is in control. Everybody else has to stand and, and obey the orders of the person in the one chair. So you want to be in the chair. You don't want your greed, aversion, and delusion to take the chair from you. So make up your mind you're going to stay right here. Any thought that's not related to the breath right now, you just put aside. That's the rule for the day. And you'll see lots of other thoughts will come up, but you don't have to go into them. You don't have to get them, take them on. Because otherwise they'll take the chair and push you out of the chair, and then you have to do what they tell you. Greed comes in, and all of a sudden you decide that you agree with the greed. Anger comes in, you decide you agree with the anger. Delusion comes in, you don't even know what's happening. But you end up falling for it. So you want to be clear, you want to be alert to what's happening. This is why when the Buddha defines alertness, it's not a matter of just being alert to whatever is happening in the present moment. It's specifically being alert to what you're doing. Because after all, what you're doing is what's going to make all the difference. We suffer because of what we do, but the path to the end of suffering can also be something we do. So you want to look carefully at what you're actually doing. Keep in mind that you want to act in a skillful way. And then do your best to follow through. Those are the parts of you that should be in control. Those are the ones who should be taking the seat. As for other thoughts, let them stand. If they don't like standing, they can leave the house. You don't have to offer your seat to them. Okay, when one, one person like this is in charge of the house, then the house is orderly. The work that needs to be done gets done. You don't waste your time going down blind alleys and dead-end roads. So make sure you take the one seat and keep the one seat as you go through the day, even when you're standing and walking, lying down. Remind yourself, you have the one seat. And don't in, l anyone lure you away from it. There's a story they tell. Sita Nun Cha, he's a Thai folk hero. And in the, in the Thai folk stories, he's always outwitting the king. And there's one day Sita Nun Cha is in the river. The king is standing on the bank. And the king says, you're so clever, you've been fooling me many times, but you can't fool me this time. You can't get me come, to come down in the river with you. And Sita Nun Cha stops and thinks for a minute and says, you know, you're right, but if you were in the river, I could get you out. The king says, oh yeah? So it goes down in the river. Sito Nonjai wins. So don't let the Sito Nonjai's in your mind lure you away from your seat. <laughs>